Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The House of Mirth by Edith Wharton. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are The House of Mirth by Edith Wharton explores the struggles of Lily Bart, a young woman in early 20th century New York society. The novel shows how Lily's desire for wealth and status traps her in a rigid social system that values appearance over character. As Lily tries to secure a wealthy husband, she faces judgment and manipulation, leading to her downfall. Wharton uses Lily's story to critique the superficial values of the time and highlight the harsh consequences of societal expectations. The novel reveals the tension between personal desires and social constraints, illustrating the often cruel impact of high society on individual lives. The novel begins in early 20th century New York City, where we meet Lily Bart, a beautiful young woman who is struggling to find her place in high society. Lily is 29 years old and is considered a socialite. She is beautiful and charming, but lacks a fortune. Despite her beauty, she is poor, having been raised by an aunt who left her with little money. Lily's primary goal is to marry a wealthy man to secure her future. At the start of the novel, Lily is attending a party hosted by her wealthy friend, Mrs. Judy Trenor. Here, Lily's social ambitions are evident. She flirts with wealthy men and tries to attract the attention of eligible bachelors. She meets Simon Rosedale, a wealthy but socially ambitious man who is interested in her. Lily, however, is not keen on him, as she is focused on winning the favor of wealthy and influential men like Lawrence Selden, a lawyer who is intelligent and whom she genuinely admires. Lily's social maneuvering leads her to become involved in a complicated web of relationships. She is invited to stay at the Trenor's country house, where she meets the wealthy and attractive Percy Grice. Lily sees an opportunity to marry Grice, believing he will provide her with the security she desires. She uses her charm and wit to attract him, but her efforts are hindered by her genuine lack of interest in him. Meanwhile, Lawrence Selden, who is a close friend of Lily's, becomes more important in her life. They share a deep intellectual connection and Lily feels a strong attraction towards him. However, Selden's modest financial status makes him an unsuitable match for Lily. Despite this, they continue their friendship, which becomes increasingly complicated as their feelings grow deeper. Lily's plans are thwarted when she is falsely accused of accepting money from Mrs. Trenor's husband, Mr. Trenor, to cover gambling debts. This scandal tarnishes her reputation, making it difficult for her to find a wealthy suitor. Lily's social circle begins to shun her, and she finds herself increasingly isolated. Lily's financial troubles worsen, and she is forced to sell some of her possessions to pay off her debts. She becomes more desperate and turns to her former suitor, Simon Rosedale, who offers her financial help in exchange for her companionship. Lily is reluctant but has no other options. Despite her efforts to clear her name and regain her status, Lily's situation continues to deteriorate. Her association with Rosedale, whom she despises, and her inability to find a wealthy match lead her to despair. She struggles with her self-worth and becomes increasingly disillusioned with the society she once sought to be a part of. Lily's downward spiral is compounded by her failing health and mental state. She is forced to live in increasingly dire circumstances and is unable to find any form of meaningful employment. Her former friends and suitors continue to avoid her, and she becomes a social pariah. In the end, Lily's life is marked by tragic loneliness and regret. She is found dead in a shabby boarding house, having succumbed to a combination of poverty, ill health, and despair. 
Her death is ruled as an accident, but it is clear that she was deeply unhappy and had lost hope. The novel ends with Lawrence Selden reflecting on Lily's life and the societal forces that contributed to her downfall. He is left with a deep sense of loss and regret for not being able to help her or provide her with the support she needed.